Rolling. Why didn't you both just do that way? That <laughs> awesome. Yeah, okay, <laughs> Snuggle up as you were. But really? <laughs> as a 37 year old in the future, uh, would you still be embarrassed by your mum buying you boxes of condoms? Oh, God. You know, I, I can't believe I've blown out of proportion that, God. <laughs> you know, technically, they were, it wasn't even my mom. They were in my stocking. So those were from Santa. Santa, yeah. exactly. Yeah. But one of the more surprising collaboration requests came from Gaga herself. I reckon she should collaborate with someone from the old school like Madonna. No, been there, done that. Britney did that. Boring. She's an old hag now. Who then? Move Who then? On. Come on. Well, I know I say old hag, but there was those rumours of her wanting to duet with Susan Boyle. That would be interesting. It's been an am amazing year for her so far, and it's, what, a quarter of the way through the year. Mm. She She's performed with Elton John at the Grammys, and kick-ass performance there. She's won Grammy Awards, she's won Brit Awards, she's touring all over the world. She met the Queen. Like, why would the Queen want to meet Lady Gaga? You're talking about Elton John or the No, no, the, the, the actual... The monarch, oh, the actual okay, cool. queen. Both Majesty. have a lot of jewellery. It yeah. gets quite confusing. Uh, he's a, a quiet, almost shy kind of guy. He's very reserved. He's a sensitive new age guy, man. He's a snag. And this snag has become an unlikely sex symbol. Oh, Pete. Pete Murray is a dreamboat. Jimmy has been a visitor to the top of the Australian charts nine times as a solo artist. It's an amazing feat to have that many number one albums and to be relevant to this day and starting your career out 30 years ago is absolutely amazing. Um, okay, this is question number five. Name Hugh Hefner's current girlfriends. Okay, there's Bridget, Holly, Kendra. They're the main three. And and you know it. It. Oh, yeah, nice <laughs> job. Yes. I love the Playboy Mansion. Jeez. One day, one day. <laughs> you were talking about being a bunny. Oh, uh, yes. Yes. We couldn't find the uh, you know, little bunny ears or anything sexy, so we got you Thank kind of the Donnie you. Darko weird mask. <laughs> thing. So it's the best we could do. Mike here at Strike Bowling Bar for the Nintendo Wii Bowling Challenge. This round, it's myself up against the Hot 30s, Big Z. All right, scores. You were one by one pinned. Really? Yeah. Well, that's a surprise. <laughs> for both of us. <laughs> Now, Bixie, radio is very different from television. What's the sort of scariest thing about radio, would you say? Uh, that it's live and things happen, and if you make a mistake, it, you feel silly, but sometimes it actually works in your favour. It can be quite funny. Is it kind of weird that, you know, you're doing radio, you're in a studio, you can't see the people who are hearing you? Is that kind of good or bad, do you think? Yeah, you forget about it, and then every now and then you go, oh, my gosh, there are actually thousands of people listening. Or maybe not, maybe there's just like the music. Oh, I think they probably <laughs> care. Things start to get really interesting. Madonna gets down on bended knee and proceeds to take the garter off Christina's leg. And like, Britney's face was like, no way, dude, I am not playing second fiddle to you. You took my Grammy. You're not taking this moment. So she drops down on one knee and then she looks at Madonna. She gives her the look. Then there was the kiss. Huh. So I built it up a bit more in my head. Yeah. I guess it's a bit more like a horror movie, you know. At the time, it was really shocking, but you watch it again now and it's... It's a bit disappointing, really. Can we just watch it one more time?